You clicked on this video because you want to grow taller, right? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly how you can do it. There are thousands of videos on YouTube telling you to stretch or hang from a bar to grow taller but let's be real, most of them don't work. I know this because I've tried everything. Back when I was a teenager, I was 5'7", and I tested every so-called height increasing trick out there. Did I grow taller? Well, almost no, I did manage to grow one extra inch, reaching 5'8", but that was only because I fixed my posture. That's right fixing your posture alone can give you an instant boost of 1-2 inches because most people slouch without realizing it. But this video isn't about fixing posture, this is about real height growth. And this bring me to my friend, Alex. Back when I was 17, and Alex was 15, we were obsessed with Marvel movies. I mean, really really obsessed. At one point, I even wanted to build an arc reactor like Iron Man, but that's a different story. Our real goal? We wanted to look like Captain America, at least Chris Evans. But there was one problem. All of our favorite superheroes were over six feet tall. So we did what any desperate Marvel fanboy would do. We started researching how to grow taller. We tried everything hanging from bars, stretching, taking cold showers, drinking ton of raw milk. Most of it was useless. But during our trial and error, we discovered three methods that actually work. If you have any chance of growing taller, these three methods will maximize your height potential. I know that I didn't see any noticeable difference in my height, but my friend Alex did manage to achieve a very noticeable difference in height. And listen carefully, the third method is the most important. So please, never skip the third method. Because if you do, there's no point to watch the first two methods. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. The first extreme method we discovered was sprinting. Now, you're probably thinking, what does sprinting have to do with height? Let me explain. When you sprint, your body produces HGH, human growth hormone, at a much higher level. Studies show that sprinting can increase HGH production by up to 700%, and HGH is one of the key hormones responsible for height growth. But here's the problem. Most people don't sprint the right way. If you just go outside and start running at full speed, you might injure yourself. How to sprint for maximum height growth? Warm up first, do jumping jacks, and light jogging for 5 minutes. Sprint for 10 to 15 seconds. Run at 80-90% of your max speed. Rest for 30 to 45 seconds. Repeat for 6 to 8 rounds. This is called high intensity interval training and it's the most effective way to trigger HGH release. But sprinting alone won't make you taller. It only prepares your body for the next step. And the next step is creating micro fractures. Now that your body is flooded with HGH, you need to force your bones to grow. And the way to do that? By creating micro fractures. This is scientifically proven. When you put controlled stress on your bones, your body repairs them by adding new bone tissue making them slightly longer. That's why NBA players and marathon runners tend to be taller. Their intense training causes tiny fractures in their bones, and when they heal, they grow slightly longer. Exercises that create micro-fractures. Grab a pull-up bar and hang for 30 to 60 seconds. If you want to push it to the extreme, wear a backpack with weights. This stretches your spine and creates micro fractures over time. Deep squat jumps. The Maasai tribe in Africa is known for their insane jumping ability and they are some of the tallest people in the world. To do this, go into a deep squat and explode upwards. Jumping as high as possible, land softly, and repeat 10 to 15 times. Now here's where it gets interesting. When you combine sprinting to increase HGH with microfracture exercises to stretch and lengthen bones, you create a height increasing cycle. The cycle for maximum height growth. Sprinting boosts HGH. Exercises create microfractures. Your body heals by growing longer bones, but none of this will work unless you do the third and most important step, which is diet and sleep. If your body doesn't have the right nutrients, your bones can't grow. Even if you break a bone, it won't heal without the right nutrition. So, if you're not eating the right foods, your body won't have the material it needs to build longer bones. Best foods for height growth. First, you can eat eggs for protein, which is needed for muscle growth. Second, you can drink milk for calcium because calcium makes your bones strong. Third, sunlight provides vitamin D, which helps in the absorption of calcium. 
Fourth, bananas and nuts help your body repair bones, but even more important than diet is sleep. If you don't sleep properly, your body won't produce edge g edge, and your bones won't recover. How much sleep do you need? 14 to 16 years old, 9 to 10 hours, 16 to 18 years old, 8 to 9 hours, 18 to 22 years old, 7 to 9 hours. If you ignore sleep and diet, there is no point in doing the first two steps. Your body needs well to grow. Final thoughts. Does this actually work? So, after months of following this strategy, did Alex and I grow taller? Well, I only gained one inch from 5'7 to 5'8. But Alex, he was 5'5 five, five at 15 years old. And now, he's 5'11 a six inch increase. Now, of course, genetics play a role, but if you have any chance of growing taller, this strategy will maximize it. And also keep in mind, this only works if your growth plates are still open. For most people, growth plates close between 20 to 22 years old. Let me know in the comments, what's your height and what's your goal? And if you found this helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe for more life-changing videos.